Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 3, Episode 23, Sarek. So for a lot of these episodes, like the title, because I've seen them so many times, I usually like instantly know what it's about, but the title doesn't give too much away. Like you have like Pin Pals or Tin Man and just some other random titles. But this one, like, especially the Q episodes, like Cupid or Deja Q, like, you, okay, it's a Q episode, we got it. Whereas this episode, it's titled Sarek. I don't even have to mention it. It's about Sarek, Spock's father. So right off the bat, it's amazing that Mark Leonard is returning for the role of Sarek. So he originated the role in uh, Journey to Babel, the original series, his second episode of the series, but the first time he played Sarek. Uh, Mark Leonard also did a voice role of Sarek in the animated series back in the 70s. And then uh, out of the six movies of Star Trek, the original series, which at this point there's only five, the sixth one, The Undiscovered Country, hadn't even come out yet. So out of the five movies, I want to say he was in at least three or four of them. Like, I don't think he was in the first one. It doesn't matter. Um, so anyways, so Mark Leonard has come back. At this point, I think it's amazing because he's pretty much the first, like, guest star from the original series uh i mean bones was in the pilot and then technically polanski the actress was in the original series but this is the first major character to actually cross over so i think that's phenomenal um when he first shows up he shows up with his wife uh who is also a human so amanda at this point at this point it's been like a hundred years so clearly amanda has passed away and he now has a new wife Pirin. Uh, and it's it's kind of interesting when they beam aboard. Sarek says hello, and then he turns to Piran and says, "She who is my wife," which is the exact same way that he introduced Amanda in Journey to Battle. Um, and to even go a little bit further back in the same episode, Picard and Riker are walking down the corridor towards the transporter and they're talking about like how amazing it is that Sarek showed up and I didn't even catch this I had to kind of go back and I was like did he just say what I think he said and Picard says that he's met Sarek before and he actually met Sarek at his son's wedding and I was like holy shit like Spock got married and I never thought about that and it's nothing you ever hear about ever again to my knowledge that I can remember I'm assuming it's Spock and Savick but that could be just me projecting onto my own desires. Because, I mean, supposedly, at the end of the fourth movie, uh, when they leave planet Vulcan, um, Savick was pregnant, supposedly. You don't, because of her helping him through Pond Far from the third movie. So I don't know how much of this is true, how much of this is fan fiction. Because, I mean, there's, I mean, you can go to a bookstore and Star Trek has its own aisle. So it, you, you kind of take what you want. So I'm just kind of projecting that Picard was at Spock's wedding, even though we never hear about it again. So I think that's kind of interesting. Uh, they do mention that Savick is 202 years old, which I'm not, I don't care that much to do the math. I mean, this is roughly 100 years ago after we saw Kirk. So I guess Savick was already about 100 years old, 90-ish, when we saw him the first time in Journey to Babel. So I thought that was interesting. So, I mean, this is just random trivia. I'm not even to the actual episode. This The actual episode is about Savick, or I'm sorry, Savick, Sarek being, he's, he's over 200 years old at this point, and he's basically slowly dying. He has, like, some mental illness going on that's a very rare disease in Vulcans. And he starts having these emotional outbursts. And because Vulcans are telepathic, it's affecting the crew. So, like, we see Jordy and Wesley kind of attack each other, which is a great scene because, I mean, I love Will Wheaton to death, but a lot of the Wesley scenes are just him being like, oh, darn. And, like, Will Wheaton does great in that scene where he's just, like, just attacks Jordy verbally. I don't know. I thought it was really, really well done. Uh, and then there's the 10 forward scene where it's just a, a bar brawl, kind of reminiscent of the Tribble scene. Um, but so it's it's kind of interesting to watch all of these emotional outbursts. Oh, and then Picard and Riker have their little duel on the bridge. So because uh, Sarek has this disease, all of his emotions are leaking out and they're affecting the crew. And the only way to basically cleanse him of it, at least temporarily, is to mind meld with Picard. Picard uh, volunteers as tribute, for a little reference. Um, and so it basically kind of cleanses Sarek just enough to finish the diplomatic journey that he's about to do. 
And so, but, and that's also a great scene. Like this whole episode is nothing but great scenes where Picard is now basically infected with Sarek's emotions and just watching them tear him apart. And it's such a well done scene because it's very dark. It's very backlit and, and Crusher's there, Dr. Crusher's there with Picard and she's just heartbroken watching him try to struggle with these diseases until he can like overcome it and basically pass it back to Sarek. It's just, it's a, it's a fantastic episode. It's really, really well done. It's well acted. I mean, Mark Leonard is a great actor, and he does so well with Sarek. But, so if you guys have seen this one, uh, go ahead, let me know. I could talk about this episode for days. Go ahead, let me know what you guys think about Sarek, what you guys think about him continuing on to the next generation. Uh, I love how this episode is also, we are now two-fifths of the way through the series, so we're almost halfway done. Go ahead, let me know what you guys think about Sarek, what you guys think about uh, this kind of journey that we're going through. Uh, let me know. Thank you guys for everything, and I will see you guys next time for Menage Troy.